Hi guys, Max here, back with another tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we're still continuing with our continuing with our Jeopardy skit stuff, different things that I did to make it happen. So, in this tutorial, we need to take this shot, which we've already composited in Premiere uh, in a previous tutorial, which I will link down below, or you can click somewhere on the screen. Not sure yet. And then we also need to take this shot and composite our animation that we created inside of here that reacts to the robot's voice. So some quick and easy screen compositing to uh, kind of play off our last two tutorials where uh, we created this animation and then we cut up these three separate clips on a lockdown tripod and composited, composited them into one single seamless image. So let's get started. So where we left off in Premiere was where we created this three clip thing with our PNG on top and um, in After Effects we created that animation that we just saw on the screen. So what we're gonna do is we gotta composite something to this screen and composite something into this screen which is this is the secondary clip which is the cutaway to the robot which was just another shot uh, single Nothing crazy. You can actually see my camera in the background right here. It kind of blends in. Not a big deal. But what we're going to do just to get started is we're going to... This actually moves a little bit right here where it changes. You can see where this black line gets thicker for some reason. I think it's a reflection. What we're going to do is right click and add frame hold. And we're just going to make sure the frame gets held at this point because we don't want it to move. And we don't need the audio. Now on these three separate clips which are composited if you turn these two bottom ones off, you can see where she's been cut out, the robot's been cut out, and this has been cut out. So if we reveal these in the project, we can see that they are three separate clips. There's the robot clip, there's the female contestant, and there's um, our male contestant, which this was three separate takes of all the same skit that we wrote, and yeah, I composited them together. So we've got to put our screen animation inside of these screens. So what we're gonna do, First off is we need to nest these clips to make them one single clip. We'll highlight all three, right click, and nest. What this does is just nest our clips into one single channel. It's kind of like pre-composing in After Effects. So we'll call this um, chop, doesn't matter, whatever. And then we'll leave the PNG at the top. Cool, now once this clip is nested, we are going to right click it and open it with an After Effects composition. So what we'll do is right click, replace with After Effects composition. Once After Effects opens up, it'll prompt us to save the file. So we'll call it JVFX, or Jeopardy VFX. Click save. And there you go. Once it's uh, saved, it'll open up your composition. So you can see here it has the three clips that uh, we used in our Premiere project. It has the uh, nested sequence, Digital Jeopardy Tut Linked Comp 07. So we open up Premiere again, we can see that it's in here. This is our After Effects composition that we're editing currently. So whatever we change in After Effects will be affected here. Cool. So what I normally do is I will create a shot list inside of After Effects to um, organize everything. So what we'll do is do a new folder and call it Shot 1. and dump all these files into here. So shot one, there's that and that, there's the footage for shot one. It makes total sense. So we'll go back to Premiere. What we'll do is quickly save this file, go back to Premiere, right click on here, replace with After Effects composition because we have to composite the screen. And there you go, here's our new file. It's been opened up. And what we'll do is create a new folder, call it shot two and dump our stuff right here. Shot one and shot two. Now what we need is our digital animation to drop our effects into the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import our other After Effects file that we created late before. We'll drag and drop our audio V file that we created in a previous tutorial, which I'll link here somewhere and I'll put a link in the description. So here's our audio V. Um, we can see our audio V composition. If we widen this up, this is the audio V. Here it is. This is what we're going to try to put into the screens for compositing. 
So let's get started. So let's go to shot two, open up this composition. We're going to right click new solid. Now the screen resolution of this thing is kind of weird. So I have it set to width 1000 height 800 because it looks like a square, but it's a little bit wider than it is high. So click OK. Next, what we're going to do is grab corner pin and drag it onto this. We can set the blend mode to classic difference to see what it looks like. We just want to change the corners. Drag the corner down, drag the corner down, drag the corner down, and drag the corner down. Zoom in with our hand tool, move over, sync it up right here, go up sync it up right here, go over, sync it up right here, and sync this up right here. Now because this shot is frozen, the screen will not move. So it is tracked technically um, because the screen doesn't move at all. We can set the mode back to normal. And then what we can do is take this blue solid, right click, pre-compose, and let's call it Screen comp, yeah, screen comp. Look for works for me. Um, click OK on the pre comp, or hit Enter. That's what I did. Then open up your screen comp. Then what we can do is take the audio V and actually drag it into here. We can scale it down some. That's fine. Take this blue solid in the background, put a fill on it, change it to black to be a background, so it looks nice just like this. Go back to this right here. It looks pretty dark. So what we'll do is take brightness and contrast to actually just brighten up the uh, image. Brighten it up a good bit. Here it comes. Looking nice. 150 brightness is totally fine. Then what else we'll do now is actually go into this comp, go into audio V, Take this blue and actually bring it down some. Then go back to the first comp and it looks a lot better already. Now what else we can do to make this match really well is do a little bit of color correction on this image right here just to make it match a little more. So I have magic bullet looks. Drag and drop onto our black magic footage. Click edit. Opens up the looks. You can see in the RGB parade, it's really off right now. Then we can just quickly go to, let's see, um, warm and cool. We can slide it this way. So far, so good. Next, we can go to, let's see, range saturation. Drop the highlight tone down. Drop the shadows down. Let's bring the shadows back up a little bit. Then go to range HSL. Actually take the yellow saturation and pretty much take it out of the screen. Then go back to exposure. Come on, exposure. Then brighten this entire image up. And for the most part, I think that does it looks a lot better already. Real quick color correction, nothing fancy, just to make this image not so freaking yellow. Holy crap, that is a huge difference already. So maybe one more thing we could do to this to make it blend in a little more. We could go onto screen cop layer, layer styles, inner glow, drop down an inner glow, change it to a darker color, bring the opacity up, bring the size up, change it from screen to normal. If you see, there's actually like a darkness around the edges. So yeah, then you could go in here, double click on screen comp, audio V, audio V comp four or three, it doesn't matter, they're all the same thing, drop in some new audio, change it, and back to here, your audio would be reflected. If we look in our original video, it's uh, pretty darn similar. The, the color correction is a little different, but I'm not too focused on that today. 
overall I think it looks pretty good so next we have to go to shot number one and put it into this so here's our nested sequence jump into here pretty simple we can do the same thing we can actually take our audio v comp no 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 excuse me not our audio v comp we can take our screen comp duplicate it drop it onto here first we'll you know scale it down to semi fit move it over take corner pin drop it onto here change the blend mode to classic difference to get it directly onto our screen go back to normal you can already see it matches pretty well go back to brightness and contrast drop it onto here and actually brighten this up a good bit so we can see what's on the screen it's looking pretty good maybe we can jump over to here actually take the magic bullet looks copy it dump it onto here see what happens immediately looks a lot better there's a little bit of settings we can change to bring all these colors back because we kinda dumped a lot out we can take the range saturation put some color back into the highlights way too much color in the highlights put some color into the shadows bring the yellows back a little bit this orange take it down some bring it up there seems to be a lot of green in here immediately putting that mojo on I mean putting magic bullet looks on here makes it look a lot better it's not perfect by any means maybe if we dump some mojo on here from magic bullet color suite take the mojo down we could punch it squeeze the skin color back a little bit let's compare it to our original just to see what it looks like ours has like a yellow tint this one has more of a red tint I'd say the red up here the yellow over here I'm not too crazy about color correction in this tutorial we can go in and dive in and do all the coloring for the video which I did myself but for the most part it's not perfect but it definitely looks better than what it was um, we will spend more time on this later, but for this purposes, we were just trying to get the screens in here. So now if we jump back into Premiere, it should update rather quickly with our uh, content. So there's our screens. There's that. And yeah, back and forth. Looks pretty good. So that's how you get these screens in here real fast. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. It works well, I'm Max. Thanks, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe if you helped, you thought this was helpful or really confusing. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. So uh, take it easy. And, yeah, peace.